Hi, I'm Anthony J. Krupp, the director for Spark. Uh, Spark for me is a project about a young girl, Evie, played by Ariel Brackfeld, uh, excellent actress, who she goes about her daily life in this in this kind of uniform world that humanity had to uh, become. They they're emotionless in the sense that they had to go through a singularity to remove emotion to increase their efficiency, to make them work more efficient. Almost, you know, human drones, so to speak. Uh, Evie's a delight. Uh, getting a character like Evie, getting a project like this is outstanding. I mean, just the, the arc of the character, um, having her, in essence, come back to life, you know, supposed to be normally getting killed off, like coming to life is, is outstanding. Um, and having it be a happy message, having it be this, this Oh, kick-ass message at the end is, is it's, it's a nice change. At the root of the story, it, what it is, is I would say, if you were to awaken one day and deal with emotion for the first time, have to, have to learn to cope with all these things at once, like 10 years from now down your life when you're in your 20s, how would you deal with that? And that's the story we have, we have here. The character is basically a human robot or even more uh, emotionless than robots now. Um, I have a, a relationship with the, the other character in the short film, and her name is Evie. And she is quite the, she starts to be, she becomes quite the opposite of me because um, she starts like me where she is uh, emotionless but then she begins to wake up and she begins to understand that maybe it's not a good idea to be this way. So uh, this is my first project working with Jesus Gonzalez as our DP. We've worked with him in, as, in the past as our gaffer and other positions in the camera department, but never as our DP. Uh, he was really great to work with this, you know, we, we were always on the same level with stuff. Uh, our very first meeting, he brought me in a full shot list of like ideas he had, which was amazing to work with. And then, you know, incorporated mine. And as we were going down the shot list, we realized that like 75% of the shots we had in mind were the same shots. So we were exactly on the same level with this project. And I know he's happy with the footage he's getting. Um, I don't see the footage really until until after the shoot is done. It's just one of my superstitious beliefs. So. On set, you won't see me a lot around the camera. So it's great that, you know, we had this nice rapport up front because I can trust Jesus with the cameras. They'll get the job done. I don't have to see that. So, you know, it was our first time working with Kelsey as art director, and she was stoked. You know, she came into the meeting with all these different ideas. Taylor brought stuff to the table. And just brick by brick, we slowly built this world all together. You know, how they dressed, how they looked, how they should walk, how they talk. Uh, the looks of the office, as well as, you know, we had great banners and stuff designed by our graphic designer, Wilmer. Uh, my name is Taylor Leach. I'm the production designer for Spark. Uh, so I'm in charge of costumes, props, set decorations, set dressing, I guess. Uh, pretty much anything that has to do with sort of the visual aspects inside the frame sort of thing. Uh, I did create the, the all the switches that are in, um, in the office scene. Um, so I fabricated all those myself. And, uh, knife switches are typically, you see them in like mad scientist laboratories and stuff, 
uh, but nobody really makes them, so I made them myself sort of deal. Costuming, uh, I know Tony, the director, he wanted sort of more of like an industrial, like everyone was sort of stuck in the industrial age sort of look, so a lot of three-piece suits, everyone's got vests with long coats, um, all they're missing sort of is a top hat, and uh, it's really neutral it's colors, browns, grays, blacks. No one is really expressing themselves with these clothes. Age range on this project is humongous compared to our projects. Usually it's all people around the same age. This, you know, we have we have Greg and Emilio who are, you know, probably in their 30s or 40s, Ariel uh, in her 20s, as well as some actors 18 and up. Um, so working with different age ranges was a unique experience. You learn you learn a lot because each and each actor has a different way of working. So working as a director, you really have to find how they all work and then shape it all together into this crazy complex puzzle. My name is Emilio Palame and I'm playing the role of the supervisor who's a very stern and unemotional person in this world that Anthony's created. Um, because there's no emotion and the way my character fits into the story is I'm sort of a, a governor over that emotion to make sure that my workers are just working unemotionally and that they're just doing their job kind of like a cogs in a wheel, if you will. John has a secret because he's already awakened his emotional life, unlike all the other characters in this movie, because it's not really allowed. It's not a part of society. There aren't any relationships. There really isn't. It's just work. It's just work and sleep, and everyone's content with their role, except he has this terrible secret, and he's very, very good at covering it up. And then comes the one day when he thinks he's actually been found out and discovers he actually has an ally in Evie. Emotional scenes are probably one of the hardest things, I think, to shoot. It looks so natural a lot on on movies when you see them done, but you really have to build up that rapport with the actor or actress that you're working with. So you know you trust each other. You're, although the director yourself, you I mean most times will say are not crying on set along with the actor or dealing with their emotions. You're still in that same sort of emotional state. There's kind of like this unity link that happens between you and the actor. You know. So, for me, for example, I'll, you know, I'll send most of the crew out, keep them out of reach, you know, send them down inside, have a break. So it's just me, the actress, camera, and sound. That's all that needs to be there. So, you know, we, there's less there, it's just us able to focus and get exactly what we need. The, the emotional range of it, it was what drew me to the project. I mean, again, I, waking up in a world without emotion, when as an actor, you have to be so in touch with it, it's, uh, it's very interesting. It's very cool to play with that. 